Hey everyone, today I'll be your tour guide through the technological marvels sourced from all over the internet. Let's dive right in. The AI has advanced a lot, but chat GPT in a bike? The Carbon One by Utopia, unveiled at CES 2024, claims to be the world's first dual battery, dual motor e-bike integrating chat GPT as a talkative AI assistant. Fully made of carbon fiber and weighing 35 pounds, it gives about 80 miles at 25 miles per hour speed with those two 350 watt hour batteries. Not bad, until you realize it's a bike for the pavement only due to tire limitations and the absence of suspension. Must be great to ride gravel trails, huh? Well, who cares when it's all about built-in chat GPT nicknamed Jarvis Tech, enabling hands-free bike control, music playback, and conversation. What else do we have here? 4G connectivity to leave your phone in a pocket yet still be able to use it, GPS tracking, movement alarm, fingerprint unlock, and route tracking. But how practical is it, truly? Does your bike need to engage in lengthy conversations? Perhaps not. Built-in AI necessary? Perhaps not either, because let's face it, you always take your phone with you. You just take a power bank if the battery's low. And finally, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather buy something cheaper than $2,900 but with a built-in kickstand by default. Air fryers are like a magic wand for families, cooking hot meals in record time with less oil and mess. However, what if you have a large family or are hosting a great stag party at your cave? That's where the Typher Dome kicks in. The first thing you notice is that it's bigger than any other air fryer. The wide drawer, though not particularly deep, is a standout feature, and the top temperature of 450 degrees provides an extra edge over competitors. It's so cool that you can cook a 12-inch pizza in it as well as toast, bake, grill, and even cook bacon. Open the app, find the recipe you like, and start cooking. By the way, the app not only offers remote control, but also notifies you when your culinary creations are ready. The air fryer's quiet operation, slightly louder than a household fridge, is ideal for shared living spaces. All that's great, no doubt, but here's the real deal. The air fryer will clean itself, reaching even challenging areas. Let's address one but, though. The Typher Dome comes with a premium price tag, yet I believe its innovative design, extra features, exceptional cooking performance, and numerous positive reviews justify the investment. I've never been a huge fan of jotting down notes or sketching on my iPad with the Apple Pencil, mainly because gliding over glass just didn't feel right. Not to mention the screen was always smudged, hardly inspiring me to write anything. That's why I stuck with paper. But then Paperlike reached out for a promotional spot on their screen protector, claiming it offers a paper-like feel. Let's put that claim to the test and see if it can truly replace my notebook. The package includes two protectors, which is quite handy. The installation process is thoughtfully designed by the manufacturer. First, clear any smudges from the screen, then apply the paper like perfectly. So let's give it a try. The secret is micro bead technology manufactured in Switzerland that mimics the texture of paper. These beads provide just enough resistance to the Apple Pencil, making writing and drawing feel much more natural. I'm honestly impressed. Even the sound of writing mimics that of paper. Now I won't have to constantly clean my screen of fingerprints and I can finally use my Apple Pencil as intended. Just look at the before and after. The difference is undeniable. Plus, Paperlike also minimizes glare, giving the screen a matte finish that's much gentler on the eyes. If you're as intrigued as I am, check out the link in the description. Smart locks and video doorbells have been on the market for a long time. Is it possible to improve anything there? Let's explore that with the Lockly Video Smart Lock. First things first, it's a combo of a video doorbell, a smart lock, and an ordinary lock. All that's complemented by the built-in solar panel, but you can also charge the device with a USB-C cable. Like most similar products, there's an average set of features including an integrated camera, a door sensor, and multiple unlocking methods from keypad and fingerprint reader to voice control and a traditional key. It even supports Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, yet I'd like to talk about the cam. In short, it could be better. A 1080p HD resolution with 135 degree view, infrared night vision, and a two-way audio quality aren't perfect, but acceptable. But when it comes to detecting people and packages and notifying you of any activity within a set range, well, it could be better. Customers note that the app is slow and it's easier and faster just to go to the front door and open it. When it detects activity, the maximum time for recording what's happening out there is just 30 seconds. Are there any positive sides? Sure. The lock comes with two batteries for a quick swap, 
and you don't need to pay for video storage since there's a TF card. To sum it up, I'd rather spend that money on something else. No way, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Well, just grab one of the power banks. This one from any you might be a great tool to keep your mobile devices afloat. Well, until it's an Apple product. With a 6,000 milliamp hour capacity and a 7.5 watt charging speed, it isn't that big, but it's sufficient as an emergency power source. Great news for those who have a lot of video calls or watch many videos. The power bank also doubles as a kickstand and a grip to ensure you won't suddenly drop it. There are a few negative reviews on Amazon. Some customers note that the charger and the phone become very hot in just 10 minutes, while others say their product didn't work at all. I tend to think it's a manufacturing fault, though. In case you need a more massive capacity and cool devices, in every sense, there's another power bank. The Charge Ice Mag boasts a 10,000 milliamp hour capacity, an active cooling system, and is fully compatible with MagSafe devices. Weighing 8 ounces, it supports the same 7.5 watt wireless charging and 20 watts through the USB C port. The built in fan prevents overheating. Customers also note charging issues similar to the previous power bank, although the percentage of happy clients is still high. So pick the power bank you like more, they're mostly the same in their performance. When winter comes, make sure you've protected the most important parts of your body from the chill with the proper pants. These ones from Kemimoto brand are water and windproof, but it's all about six carbon fiber heating elements that do all the job. The intelligent temperature control system allows customization with three levels targeting crucial areas. See that so-called button? What you need to do is make sure that the power bank is fully charged. Fleece lining, waterproof zippers, and abrasion-resistant material enhance comfort keeping you warm and dry. You did your best and the pants are dirty now? Keep calm and wash them in the washing machine. There are not so many reviews on Amazon, yet there are just a couple of negative reviews. That makes me think the pants aren't the best, but of acceptable quality. When it comes to earbuds or earphones, good audio quality isn't enough. You're likely to have an unusual case, right? Well, here you need to push the upper part to reveal the earphones. The manufacturer claims they have just a 30 millisecond latency and are easy to control with touch, while the ergonomic design ensures comfortable wear. Featuring double ANC and ENC noise reduction, environmental sounds are filtered in real time, providing a crisp and clear audio environment. With a 13 millimeter moving coil driver unit, Bluetooth 5.3 and 500 milliamp hour lithium battery in the charging case, you can enjoy up to five hours of playtime and 720 hours of standby. Unfortunately, I couldn't find many reviews. All of them are positive. Here's another pair of earbuds with an unusual case, boasting a dual wireless mode, 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth, ultra low 15 milliseconds latency, and superb sound quality. They're said to be great for playing games. Simultaneous dual mode connection, collectibles level craftsmanship, and RGB lighting effects enhance its cyber mecha aesthetic. The controls are said to be user friendly, and what's really cool, earbuds are compatible with all kinds of devices. Luckily, there are more reviews on Amazon, and most of them are positive. Customers note that the product is excellent for gaming. Some people note that playing with the case is fun and helps to relax. As for unhappy clients, some note the sound quality could be better, and some say it'd be great to have an app for better controls. But I still prefer this model. Lenovo Yogabook 9i, is that you? Nope, that's a laptop by Asus. Although resembling much like the Yogabook, it has some notable enhancements. So first, the ZenBook features a larger 14-inch 3K OLED touchscreen with 120Hz refresh rate and a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Both laptops share a built-in kickstand, yet Asus allows adjustable angles from 40 to 70 degrees, a backlit physical keyboard with a larger touchpad, and a built-in numpad keyboard. It charges when snapped onto the secondary screen via built-in pogo pins. When you don't have a physical keyboard for some reason, use the virtual one with the same performance. Under the hood, the AI-powered Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, 32GB memory, up to 2TB SSD, and intuitive gesture control allow the ZenBook to perform literally every task. With Harman Kardon speakers, Dolby Atmos, and a running time of up to 10 hours, I can say it's an awesome product especially taking into account a competitive starting price of $1,500, while Lenovo will cost you at least 2000 
Still prefer to use stickers for notes regardless of the tech around you and the constant challenge of deciphering your own handwriting? Well, let me introduce the Mnemonic Gen 2, an inkless thermal and wireless printer. It works seamlessly with Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices, both desktop and mobile, transforming your digital notes into crisp, ultra-sticky notes with a robust yet removable backing. To put it simply, now your stickers are sticky and easy to read or to watch because it's possible to print images and even graphics directly from the connected app. Integration with Microsoft Office apps, Slack, and Zapier adds a layer of convenience with features like shadow removal for captured photos or diagrams, mnemonic scanner app compatibility, decurl functionality, and auto cut finishing. The printer promises a hassle-free and polished note printing experience. Sounds too good to be true? Well, this is the second generation of the product, and there are more than 300 positive reviews on Amazon. As for unhappy customers, some had issues with loading cartridges, some claim their device broke in a short period, and some note that the quality of the prints could be better. Yet I still tend to think the product's good. The world of wearable tech offers us numerous devices that complement our phones, tablets, and other portable tech. However, how many of them would truly be useful in emergencies? This cam is so small it resembles a decoration on a jacket, yet it records videos in 1080p at 30 frames per second within a 150-degree field of view. Simply put, its performance surpasses that of AI pens, so with just a single button, users can discreetly activate the device, placing it in standby mode. The LED ring, illuminated in white, should make potential aggressors aware that they're under observation. In case things escalate, a second button press transforms the LED ring into red, signaling the start of video transmission to a secure cloud-based server. What truly sets the phone cam apart is that in case of an emergency, a predetermined contact is instantly notified, receiving a live audio or video feed from the phone cam. The app also provides real-time location tracking on a map, facilitating effective communication between the user and their chosen contact. Do I find this cam useful? Absolutely. Recording aggressive individuals on video can sometimes deter violent behavior, but the act of pulling out a phone to shoot them may escalate the situation further. That's where the phone cam comes in, as it's intended to serve as a sort of middle ground. The cam's available for pre-order at a reasonable $69, but you'll need an additional jacket clip, which costs $39. Don't guess, it's a babysitter for your cat. It won't clean the cat's poop out of the pot with your fave ficus and won't take it off the curtains, but it's in its power to prevent all those things. You need some time to fix it with anti-crash brackets. Then fill the durable stainless steel food bowl with some snacks and place a clever desiccant. Well, no need to mention the robot's controlled via the app, right? Here you can build cat profiles that lead to scientifically generated feeding plans while the built-in AI camera monitors and records feeding times. Hello, Fluffy Ball! The 360-degree horizontal and 110-degree vertical camera control captures every moment, so feel free to share the precious memories with your feline friend. When you have a spare minute, talk to your kitty and let them know you miss them, or even play with them. The laser emitter allows you to remotely engage your cat and enhance its activity for optimal health. It turns out that this thing is very popular on Amazon and most customers are very happy to get the robot. Yet some of them say they face connectivity issues. Overall, the product is really good. In today's era of frequent online meetings, having a high quality camera, speaker, and microphone is essential. You might like the trio I'm about to show you. Let's begin with the pick or better say with the camera. Here, the Totem 360 emerges as a versatile solution with its 360-degree panoramic image capability facilitated by four integrated cameras. No matter the mode, conferencing, hybrid learning, or surround, the camera tracks and highlights active speakers, while the built-in AI tracks the participants, reduces noise, and shows everyone in the best possible light. Totem 360 has a quarter-inch hole so you can mount it on a tripod. Sound quality is another area where the camera excels. Equipped with four omnidirectional microphones, every participant is heard with clarity, even from a distance of up to 16.4 feet. Don't understand what the participant on the other side says? IPVO Vocal is a speakerphone that reduces background noise on both ends of the call. Whether you're in a bustling meeting room or dealing with noise from the other side of the call, Vocal lets you filter out distractions. With an impressive 40 hours of battery life and convenient USB-C charging, Vocal is always ready for action when you need it. Planning a business relocation or expanding with new conference rooms? IPVO's Vocal Hub, I pick you. 
It allows you to connect wirelessly to up to six speaker phones, adapting effortlessly to varying spaces. Looks like an awesome set, huh? Well, it is. There are not so many reviews on Amazon, yet I must notice there isn't a single one or two stars review for any of the three products. That's a win. Do you use a lot of peripherals when working or gaming? A docking station is the way to reduce clutter on your desktop and enhance your productivity. This one is lightweight and portable, making it easy to take with you if you need to shift to other places. Yet I must note here that it doesn't come with a power adapter, but let's move to the crucial part, the connectivity options. With a 9-port expansion, including a 10 gigabits per second ultra high-speed data transfer, SD and TF card readers, and dual 4K at 60 Hz support through USB-C and HDMI ports, this docking station caters to various external needs. The full-function USB-C port ensures video output, charging, and data transfer simultaneously, saving you time. Sounds good, but what do customers say? Well, there are a few reviews and just one negative note that it's garbage. Having a smart home means having a lot of hubs and apps to control them. Well, the Linksura Smart Controller aims to solve that issue for $100. The reasonable question may come to your mind. What are Alexa and Google Assistant for then? Let's try to find out. So, Linksura is said to be compatible with a multitude of brands, including Alexa, Sonos, LifeX, and Philips, with upcoming support for Matter and Google Home, and capable of handling up to 52 smart home devices. The e-ink screen displays up to four devices at a time. To access other gadgets or preset scenes, you need to click the wheel. When it comes to adjusting various device functions like brightness, temperature, and volume, just rotate it. The manufacturer claims Linksura can work for up to three months on one charge, and when the battery is drained, you just need to charge it using a USB-C cable. Now the question arises, is such a controller a necessity for your home? It seems doubtful given that Alexa and Google Assistant are capable of performing all required tasks. Even if a physical controller is desired, there are numerous comparable products on the market that have proven to excel in this role for less money. DJI is well known for its quality microphone system that's widely used by content creators all over YouTube. Sounds impossible, but the company has taken it to the next level with the release of the DJI Mic 2. Let's run through the upgrades, and they begin with the redesigned charging case. It now features a locking push-button latch, ensuring your gear stays securely in place. The case houses two wireless transmitters with built-in omnidirectional microphones, a receiver with a larger touchscreen display, and a new physical control wheel for adjusting the settings. Yet I consider one of the most appreciated updates the addition of noise-canceling technology, which effectively minimizes background noise and ensures that your voice takes center stage. Paired with 32-bit float internal recording, the DJI Mic 2 delivers exceptional audio quality, allowing content creators to capture crisp and clear recordings in various environments, no matter their device phones, cameras, or laptops. DJI has also addressed some user feedback by refining the layout of the transmitters, preventing accidental button presses. Yes, the charging case is a bit bigger, but it's a small trade-off for the enhanced features, functionality, and improved recording time that can last up to 18 hours with the case. However, it's worth noting that the 8GB internal storage and 820-foot recording range remain the same as the previous version. Are there worthy competitors? Of course, some might prefer the Rode Wireless Pro. However, the DJI Mic 2 holds its ground with triple redundant recording, wireless convenience, and a more affordable price point. This credit card-sized device can transform into anything you desire. In case your hands grow in the right place, and it's definitely not me, it's called the Card Pewter, and it has an M5 Stamp S3 microcontroller inside which is commonly used by hobbyists, educators, and makers for interactive projects and toys. Additionally, there's a 56-key keyboard, a 1.14-inch TFT screen, and built-in mic and speakers. Now let's explore what you can do with it. Record audio, listen to music, or use it as an external keyboard for your phone? Yes. Can it double as an alarm clock or as central hub for home control systems and TV? Absolutely. From fast functional verification and prototyping to industrial control, home automation, data acquisition, and sensor monitoring, this device caters to various engineering endeavors. You just need to know how to program these tasks. 
The micro SD card expands storage, housing program code, data files, images, audio, and more. Originally designed for hobbyists, it's fully compatible with LEGO, becoming a canvas for engineering enthusiasts and their creations. Wondering if it's suitable for hacking? Yes, but I didn't tell you that. There are thousands of translators that help break the language barrier, yet the X1 seems to be truly unique. It's a standalone device that comes with earbuds, enabling users to initiate conversations swiftly without the need for additional apps or complex setups. Extract the earbuds, share them with your partner, and you're ready to communicate. Unlike conventional translation apps that mimic walkie-talkie exchanges, the X1 recognizes speech initiation and conclusion, enabling hands-free interaction. Adding to its capabilities, the X1 introduces the groundbreaking One Dial feature, facilitating real-time cross-language calls. Well, okay. And what if there are more than two participants? With a touch or by using a code, you can create the room. And that's pretty much it. From now on, the device ensures translation for gatherings of up to 20 people, supporting up to five languages. Is the price of $700 reasonable? It's difficult to say since most similar products either presuppose just two participants or translate your speech to a group of people in just one language. That's why I tend to think the device is worth its money. Let's wait for customer reviews.